Hello everybody. Today we are learning the lesson sorting materials into groups. We see variety of objects around us. All these things are different to look at. They are of different colors and shapes. They also have different properties. For example, chair, clothes, toys, balls, books, stones, etc. Have you ever wondered what these things are made of? All objects around us are made of different kinds of materials. Glass, plastic, steel, ceramic, wood, clay and paper are materials used to make useful things. You will often find that the same material is used to make several kinds of things. For example, plastic is used to make bucket mop, duster, containers, bottles, etc. Wood can be used to make many things like table, toys, cot and chair. An object can be made of different materials. For example, clothes are designed from cotton, linen, nylon, jute, a plate can be made of steel, wood, glass, paper, etc. Chairs can be made of plastic, wood, steel. We found that objects around us are made of different materials. At times, an object is made of a single material. An object could also be made of many materials. Then again, one material could be used for making many different objects. That means what decides which material should be used for making any given object. We choose a material to make an object depending on its properties and the purpose for which the object is to be used. So, let's learn about few properties of the materials like appearance, hardness, solubility, floating or sinking and transparency. Appearance. Materials usually look different from each other. Usually, metals have shine, so they are lustrous. Iron, copper, gold are metals, but they look different from each other. Some metals often lose their shine and appear dull because of the action of air and moisture on them. When you look at a wood piece, it does not have shine. So, we call it as non-lustrous. But, if it is polished, it shines. Can you press some materials like iron, stone or can you scratch on those materials? No, isn't it? Because they are hard substances. Some materials can be compressed easily. They are called soft substances. Sponge, rubber are soft. Let's learn about solubility. Take some solids like salt or sugar. Add this to a cup of water and stir the contents. You will observe that salt or sugar dissolves in water. The substances that dissolve in water are called soluble substances. Other example for soluble substances are milk powder, detergent powder and of course your Horlicks, Boost etc. When a material dissolves in a liquid, it forms a solution. On the other hand, 
Some substances like soil, sawdust, chalk powder do not dissolve in water. They are called insoluble substances. Do liquids also dissolve in water? Let's find out. Take some water in a glass tumbler and add few drops of ink, honey or any fruit juice. They dissolve in water. Liquids that dissolve in water are called miscible. Now add few drops of oil or kerosene to the water and observe. These things will not dissolve in water. They form a separate layer. So, the liquids that do not dissolve in water are called immiscible. Some gases like oxygen, carbon dioxide are soluble in water. Aquatic animals and plants use oxygen dissolved in water to live. The next property is floating or sinking. You might have observed that when you place wood, plastic bottle, balloon on water, they float on water. Whereas stone, metal pieces, bricks sink in water. Do you know why? The objects which are lighter than water float on water. The objects which are heavier or denser than water sink in water. Transparency is another property of the materials. You might have played the game of hide and seek. Think of some places where you would look to hide so that you are not seen by others. Why did you choose those places? Would you have tried to hide behind a glass window? Obviously not as your friends can see through that and spot you. Can you see through all the materials? Those substances or materials through which things can be seen are called transparent. Glass, water, air and some plastics are examples of transparent materials. The materials through which objects can be seen but not clearly are known as translucent. Frosted glass, colored glass, certain plastics are translucent. On the other hand, there are some materials through which you are not able to see. These materials are called opaque. You cannot tell what is kept in a closed wooden box, a cardboard carton or a metal container. Wood, cardboard and metals are examples of opaque materials. What is the need of classification or grouping the substances? You have learnt that every material has certain properties. The process of grouping objects on the basis of their properties is called classification. We have learnt that materials can be grouped on the basis of similarities and differences in their properties. We group the materials for our convenience. What is the advantage of classification? It helps us to locate the things easily. It makes convenient to study their properties. To understand the lesson better, here is an assignment. Define the following. Classification, transparent object, lustrous material. Name five objects that can be made from paper. Complete the following table. Objects are given on one side. You have to write the materials they are made of.